We're out in the open ocean north of the Hawaiian Islands studying an eddy system using a mix of classic techniques and cutting edge technology. One of the biggest hurdles we had to overcome is to have the community believe that we could actually do what we said we could do. of the oxygen we breathe comes from microbes in the ocean. We can detect their activity at the surface by measuring chlorophyll using satellites. But there's actually another layer of chlorophyll deeper down in the ocean. This is called the deep chlorophyll maximum and it's much harder to explore. Typically, when we sample the DCM, we send down a CTD rosette, which takes a vertical snapshot identifying the depth of this chlorophyll spike. On this cruise, we are, for the very first time in the open ocean, using autonomous robots to find the DCM. We deploy these vehicles with a mission to dive down, find the DCM, lock onto its signal, and track it for days at a time, taking samples of seawater alive with microbes right where all the action is. Over days, uh, the AUV locked onto the isotherm and firing samples, and the AUV nailed it. This is the same instrument that you find inside the long-range AUVs. Each one of these cartridges is almost like an experiment itself. So in this particular instance, we're interested in archiving samples for doing genetic work. And so we have a chemical in here called RNA later, and that effectively preserves the cells. When it you know, locks onto the isotherm and stays there, taking water samples, it's in some sense nearsighted. It doesn't know the water properties above it or around it. So the tracking AUV, OPA in this case, we call it cork and screws, surveying in circles, uh, in simplified terms, around it and taking measurements, temperature, salinity. Then with this tracking AUV's measurements, we also know contextual information. Now we have the capabilities of autonomously running instruments 24 hours a day, doing profile after profile. It's going to be a massive amount of information, and I really think it's going to help us answer some of these questions. A mixed blessing, medicine. No, never. <laughs> More data is always better. We sent the instrument down about two days ago, and we haven't really heard much from it, so we're just kind of hoping that everything's still going okay. We all saw how, how you know, Mission Control and NASA reacted when they go by the dark side of the moon. Any engineer or scientist that sends out a robot and loses communication with it for long intervals will, will know the feeling. So this is what you live for. I mean, so you build these things, they're in the lab, you test them and you test them, but you really don't know how they'll really behave until you bring them out here into reality. You have no chance of post-processing you have no chance to make corrections after the fact. The big shot, you have to make it. We had a few uh, problems with our float. It's supposed to surface every six hours, and we still haven't heard from it, and it's been 24 hours. So it's very stressful right now. Is it coming in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is we're hoping that this mechanism is actually operating. The uh, carousel is turning, that the actuators are pushing the right reagents in the correct order and timing. So that I don't know is if that's happening. And so that's what keeps you up at night. In, in 40 hours you'll be able to have a nap? One way. Whether I'll be crying in my beer or, or, or sleeping soundly, uh, that's when we'll know. For me, what I'm really concentrated on is the last bit. We could go through all of this and still end up with big zeros in the columns. There's always going to be things that you need humans there in order to actually understand. But the more we can port that knowledge, that technology, onto instruments like we're deploying here, AUVs, gliders, profiling floats, wave gliders, the broader our understanding of the baseline of these ecosystems is gonna be. Finally, we got it on deck. We got samples back, right over there, in that yellow vehicle, in the belly. Yeah, yeah. So, very excited. 
there'll be a lot more experiments going on. We'll have incubations on deck. We'll have incubations in the ocean. It'll be a really exciting lake too.